Hello, Brian Ropp with Lux Fifth Wheels by the RV Factory here, and today I'm going to show you our 16 foot toy hauler, um, well, 16 foot garage toy hauler, our 48 FB. We'll go ahead and start once you get into your unit and you need to turn on your lights, we'll start at the control panel and I'll show you our in command system. So this system here is going to allow for you to run all of your interior lights, um, all of your awnings, your generator if you should have one on board, which this does. It'll monitor all of the tanks. It will allow you to pull your slide rooms in and out. Um, you can, they, they actually have all of our equalizer systems embedded in here so you can use the app which this also has to run your jacks and your slide rooms and such so that shuts off your lights exterior lights um, again you can download the in command app onto your phone in order to run all of these components as well you can run them remotely if you're not on premises to turn your ACs on and stuff, you just cannot do the mechanical stuff for safety purposes. So you can't take in and out your awning, can't pull in and out your slide rooms uh, without being actually present. That's just for safety feature reasons. So this app here is going to run a majority of this unit and you'll be able to um, just with a touch panel or right on your phone manage your unit so that's pretty neat uh, that is a nice fe neat feature that we offer to you here you'll see these every once in a while these are temperature sensors so you'll have these throughout the unit and it's actually running off of your uh, thermostat your furnace your AC units um, it's going to capture with that so you're not just reading at the thermostat you have readings throughout the coach um, to make sure that you're nice and comfortable all of our AC units are going to be ducted so you have two zones independent dual zone ducting um, through the roof for your HVAC ACs and they're all whisper quiet so they're going to be much quieter than what you may be used to so since we're here in the hallway I'll go ahead and just take you in through the bedroom and then we'll explore the living area um, and then end up in our garage all of our doors are complete solid core doors. You won't have any hollow core doors in anything that we do. We don't use any of those components. A lot of what we're going to use is going to be a major upgrade to what else is out there in the industry. You can see you've got all solid surface throughout. The sink itself is integrated into that solid surface. This is the Brazilian decor. The toy hauler is equipped with the tub shower combo, glass shower door. You don't have to do that if you don't want the, the traditional uh, shower with the seat fits into this space. So I can also do that for you. You'll have a nice large medicine cabinet here. Lots of storage for your belongings. All glass tile everything that we do within the decor piece as well is going to be pretty residential um, all of your bathrooms and kitchen will be full uh, real glass tile everybody always asks where's that pesky toilet holder toilet paper holder here we're gonna mount it right inside the door for you it's convenient it's nice it's stowed away and it is um, just right here for you. Everything that we do within the build is going to be all hardwood. Um, we'll also have shutoffs at each point. So at each individual point underneath the sink, at, at the kitchen sink, at the toilet, at the shower, you'll have the ability to shut off valves um, right there. So if you ever have a leaky sink or something, um, you can just shut it off right at that point and you don't lose the water to the whole coach. Got a nice window here in the hallway. Uh, you've got roller shades as a standard. You've got a blackout shade and a night, or I'm sorry, a day shade. They call these solar shades. You can do those power as well. Heading on into the bedroom, you will again see complete solid core doors. This one is the barn, do barn door style. Um, you got storage up above the bed, independent lights for your reading lights. You'll have outlets on either side of the bed with combo USBs. 
on each side. You'll have an additional outlet over here with your storage tables. This particular unit is equipped with a king. That is standard on all our builds. You can do a queen if you want. Gives you about six inches on either side. And then I'll show you here while we're here, the storage under the bed. It is on some nice heavy struts. It will keep it open for you while you need to get in here. Um, some considerable storage. Usually you can stow your, your extra chairs or something in here if you want. You really gotta push to get that thing to go down. Um, but behind me here, I've got drawers. Everything that we do in our drawers are going to be a complete all four corners dovetail. Um, and then you'll have complete solid wood. All of your drawer glides are undermounted, so it doesn't cut down on the storage side to side. It also helps to support some of that weight that you put in there. And then they're all soft close as well. So you can see you've got a pretty considerable, even though they're shallow, you've got a considerable am amount of bank of drawers here. Um, for your miscellaneous stuff. Yeah, overhead storage up above. In this closet here, um, you will have the television. It will be stowed away in the washer dryer prep area. If you didn't do washer dryer, it's just the TV. This is slide out and then it does have swivel mount to it as well. So you can adjust according to uh, what you need for your angle of viewing. Here you'll have your washer dryer prep. Washer dryer would live in here if you opt to do the washer dryer. Um, if you don't, we can put a hanging rod in here for an clo extra clothing closet. Um, you just let us know. You do have the nice large hanging storage closet with the hanging rod here that goes all the way through on your mirrored closet doors and more drawers. This one's gonna be quite a bit deeper for you. Um, so you can get quite a bit in there. Again, all soft close. Now I'll open this one up for you too. You can see the other side. All right, we're into the living room area. Oh, you will see on all our toy hauler floor plans, we like to set it up so that you'll have a nice um, opposite seating arrangement here so you're not all sitting on one side kitchen all on the other you'll have a dinette area um, wh which actually even has locking drawers here so you can see the storage amount in here for in, you'll have them in each up above you'll have overhead storage for any of the items that you need. All of our windows here are going to be dual paned, frameless um, windows and they um, just crank out. You'll have an LG fridge, residential 21 cubic for all your necessary food items with a freezer drawer freezer below this here runs off of your inverter while you are not plugged in if you're plugged into your truck it'll be running off the inverter while you go down the road and then your truck is plugged in so it's keeping all those batteries topped up next to me here in the kitchen you've got Nice, large, dual sinks. Two big sinks areas. We've got the pull-out kitchen faucet for any dishes. Again, I'll point out that beautiful tile. We've got about four different ones to choose from. Um, so you can really kind of mix and match within the colors and make them work for you. This here is one of six countertops that are available for us so you can really kind of dial in on that and make it make it work for you up above you've got a nice amount of storage up top and below i'll let you in there ed 
If you do a dishwasher, here's where it would be located. If not, you've just got storage below and you can see the valves for all of your water cutoffs as well. This unit was equipped with the just the range top. You can do that full storage oven. We just wanted to gain an extra storage in here, um, which is why we did the range top only because you do have a convection microwave up above. So you can bake in that. That's all LG on the appliances up top. You can see the size on that. More storage in the kitchen for canned goods items such as that and then you've got a couple drawers and more storage down below pretty good amount of storage for a toy hauler kitchen um, again it's nice I can sit here prep my food and watch some TV if I decide and if you are not cooking you can lounge in our L-shaped sofa this particular sofa actually will slide into itself to stow for your slide rooms coming in. Um, you would just remove this, this cushion here, this cushion, um, that stows down into itself and then it slides back into the sofa. You've also got a jackknife sofa in here. So if you wanted to make this more of a lounge, uh, you can do so by just pulling that down or you have a small child sleep. All right, just flips back in. Pretty easy. This here has a foot rest kick up, um, just as a little added feature for you. I can do anything in this area, most anything in this area, I guess I should say. We can do love seat with a recliner, we can just do recliners. We're pretty versatile as far as swapping this arrangement out, so if you have a specific need, just call us and ask. All right, you got your entertainment area up above. Nice amount of storage. Just check out that Brazilian wood. I think it's gorgeous. You can pick up tones of brown and gray. So you can really play with the decor and go either way with it. You've got a LG smart TV. It's a 4K smart TV. You've got an LG sound bar, and then you've got a subwoofer as well, and that puts out some good sound. We just hooked our client's um, phone up to it the other day, and he was he was having fun rocking in his new toy hauler. Fireplace, 5000 BTU fireplace will kick out some decent heat. Blu-ray player here. You can see the new stone detail on our fireplaces. That'll be across the board from now on. So here you've got a vacuum seal door that will actually close off that garage so you don't have any fumes or anything coming back in. Um, Come on up. So here I'm standing in our 16 foot garage. It's actually 16.9 from this the front to the rear door. You've got your E-Tracks set up here in the garage that go all the way down. We got three of them that will be set. Um, this particular unit was equipped with our side patios. This is a new option for us. So you can see it's a little bit less wide in this area. Um, but you absolutely do not have to do this and you can gain the full 96 inches that this garage is equipped with. But that side patio is a really nice add to um, hanging out. And you've got an awning overhead so you can hang out there when it's raining and you don't have to get muddy, um, grill out, whatever you wanna do. So this particular item was added because of popular requests by all of you clients. Um, thanks for the suggestions, we listen. You have an outside entertainment area as well built into that. Um, and I guess I'll take this time right now to show you our sidewall. Uh, this particular, all of our units are built with a three inch sidewall. All of our gel coat fiberglass is mounted on a product called Asdel. It is 100% moisture resistant, mildew resistant. It's formaldehyde free. You'll have a block foam insulation on the interior and that's a graphite infused closed cell block foam. That particular product won't settle in your sidewalls over time. 
it will stay true to our value because it's not going to degrade. It's a closed cell foam, so it will be 100% moisture resistant, mildew resistant, won't mold or mildew. You can literally put water on it, it'll wick right off. And then your interior wall panel, this is all vacuum bond, laminated. So it's a nice solid piece once it goes up. And then you have the welded aluminum framing within our walls and literally everything is framed out. You've got a half bath in here in this garage. Um, so you've got a sink and toilet. Looks like they stowed some of the window coverings in here. <laughs> That's for guests or if you have somebody sleeping back here, they don't have to come up uh, front in order to use the restroom. You've got a Jensen speaker system. Again, you've got a nice big subwoofer in here. Lots of speakers, it really pumps out a good amount of sound. And then you can stow um, your stuff up above. This particular unit is equipped with a rear awning. Here is your remote for that. That's the awning that goes out over the back patio. We've got your all your controls for your Fantastic Fan, your thermostat, lighting. This is where you're going to actually lift and lower the bed in the rear. So we've got a bunk mattress up top. It's a Happy Jack system, so it's a nice comfortable mattress up top. You'll have a, an additional bed area down below that turns into some seating. So I'll go ahead and I'll pull that down and um, show you what that seating is like. This unit is also equipped with the rear veranda doors. Um, this one only has the screens on it at this point, but you will have glass doors that can go on it as well. Um, and you've got, I think, three different uh, options to choose from on the opaqueness of that. So you got a set of sofas. They will flip and roll. You got some cup holders set in there as well. And it's just that easy. They just flip and roll. And then you do have um, additional legs that will clip down for any additional support. You don't necessarily have to use them all the time, but if you got a couple people sitting on there, there you're gonna want it for support. Up above in the garage area, we try not to skimp on any of that. You can see you've got overhead storage all the way around above this side patio as well. And then you have equipped as a standard an additional loft for additional sleeping. It is a pretty large space. You can do a TV up there, you can do an extra fan. Um, you've got some options with this. You don't have to do it at all. Some clients don't need or want it. So we've done some different things with storage or just deleting it altogether. So these are just sliding doors. They literally just slide on open and then you can unclip them um, in order to pull them completely wide so that you can load your different items. This unit here is all set in its patio mode. You do have um, additional railing package on this coach. So it's got the railing all the way around and the stairs. You will be able to pull this down into a ramp in order to load your toys. This unit is equipped with the electric ramp door, which we'll have to exhibit for you um, when we do the outside. You have the re rear awning. So you've got the LED lighting awning over the top and then you do have two additional awnings on the side as well. This here is a, st a storage box for you. So you can stow tools and such. It's pretty large amount of storage. Um, any of your dirty stuff that you don't want necessarily floating around the coach, you can just throw it on in there. Please feel free to let us know any questions you may have on this. We're happy to help as your representatives. We're here to assist um, in getting any of those answers for you. Sometimes calling with your dimensions is a good idea. Um, so measure your toys and give us a call. I figured I would sh show you how to close the ramp and railing down and then I'll close the door for you, show you how that electric function works. Um, right here, there's a little bit of a latch for each of these to groove into so that they lock and they're literally on wheels. So you just push that aside, it slides back into itself 
and then stows away. Okay, so I'll show you the ease of the electric ramp door. It is a great option. Um, literally, turn your key, come on in here, and then you just, it, there's three different options. There's ramp, there's patio, and there's closed. It's on patio right now. I'm gonna go ahead and just hit close. It has a locking mechanism that will lock and latch that door for you, so you won't have to worry about that as you roll down the road. Hi, I'm Deb Smucker from the RV factory, home of the Lux Fifth Wheels, the Elite, the Gold, and now the new Lux Toy Hauler. And we're really excited about this new product. The one that I have beside me right now that we're going to walk around the outside is the Lux 48 FB. Uh, this is the Lux Toy Hauler that has a 16-foot garage. It's got the same living space as the 44, which you uh, will see in a different video. But we want to talk a little bit about the outside because we've taken the toy hauler to the same levels as the Elite and the Gold. And that means we've got the big frame, we have uh, the equalizer leveling system, we have the enclosed underbelly like we did in the fifth wheels um, with the layers of insulation actually lining the sidewall of the frame so it's not conducting hot and cold into the underbelly. Um, we have the three inch thick graphite infused composite walls and that's one of the biggest features that we have. The toy hauler now has three inch thick walls and one of the big features about that on all of our fifth wheels, everything you buy from us has the same superstructure, but one of the biggest features is when you get to where the slides are in the unit, what's very unique about our product is this outside exterior wall of this slide where most company slides the walls on the slides would only be about an inch thick. Um, that's to keep their depth and their width. The wall right here on this unit is the very same depth as this unit. It's three inches thick. The walls on the side of the units are two inches thick and it's a graphite infused uh, composite foam. So that foam also is water resistant. It will not take on moisture. It will not mold. It won't break down with movement and it's flame retardant, fire retardant, so it would slow a process down. So all of those features are exceptional and the R factor that we keep in this product because we build our slides ourselves and because we make sure we have the same insulation factor is a big deal in making this a true full-time toy hauler. Also, of course, we have dual pane windows. We use, so you can get the step above. That's one of our features that we do. It's an optional feature, but one of the things I like about our step our solid step is that we do, this step has a wider platform step on the top. And that's one of my favorite features because when you're coming out of a coach, you're usually carrying something, this step is wide enough that you won't overstep and, and slip. So I love the safety feature on that. It just folds up into your door, very simple to use, always touches the ground so it's very sturdy. You don't get any sponginess in the bottom of the step because it always touches the bottom. This particular toy hauler also is the first one that we did that has our new side patio. So we talked about a lot of the features and of course <clears throat> also on the features of this we have 8,000 pound axles as standard. We have 17 and a half inch wheels. We have H rated Goodyear tires. We have uh, disc brakes and you can have and it comes with the Dexter um, Torflex IS suspension and you can upgrade to the Morite IS suspension if you'd like. So we have great features on that on that structure as well. Our leveling system that I was telling you about is really important in the toy hauler almost more so than in our regular fifth wheels because the equalizer leveling system is so strong that we can put it on at a five degree angle. When we do that it stops a lot of your side to side motion for so the, those of you that are loading and unloading in the back of a toy hauler having that stability not feeling all that movement is going to be a big feature for you you're going to love that as i was saying this one has our side patio a new feature for us um, with the outside entertainment center so now you can sit facing your campsite watching the people walk by and um, 
being able to enjoy your TV on the outside. We have the power awning, speaker system. And of course back here we also still have the rear, the rear patio and this is one of my favorite features about our rear patio is that now we have the steps. Steps are on the outside so if guests come up people walk by that's what happens when you're camping and you're sitting out on the patio you don't have to tell them have them come in your living space and walk through your camper they can walk right up to your patio from here and if you're on the side patio they can still be coming through the garage area instead of going through your living area to get out to the patio that you're sitting on. This particular toy hauler also has, and I'm not going to show it because we have the patio opened up, the power ramp door. So the power ramp door is a big feature for a lot of people because it's no more walking it up. Even though the spring loads are easy to do, we now have the power ramp door so you can set it to be a patio, you can take it down to the ground and you can of course close it up all with just the turn of the key and the push of a button. So that's a huge feature for a lot of people on our toy haulers as well. We have the power awning uh, on the back as well. We have uh, the option of the veranda doors and the veranda doors are very popular because it's not just a pull down screen. You actually have glass or poly uh, plastic panels, They're, they like glass, that you can put inside those doors and now you don't have to bring the ramp door up every time it rains you actually they're like a storm door so it closes it off and if it's inclement you still get light through it and you can leave those doors just close open them up take those windows off if you want full screen some of the features on the other side that we're going to walk by is of course you know we have the um, your tank system and you have uh, one tank that runs just to the generator. Uh, we do a 7.0 generator generally on our toy haulers. And then you have the, pump, the larger tank that gives you the hand pump so that for those of you taking toys, you can have fuel with you. Uh, if you're going out into the desert or out into the woods or wherever, you have fuel that you can pump into your four-wheeler, motorcycle, whatever you're using. And then the front tank runs your generator and there's your gauges and your switches you can do a lot of the same things on this as we do on the regular fifth wheels this will come with the 40,000 BTU furnace uh, if you do it a standard build if you go to the um, Arctic package we are going to make it 235,000 BTU furnaces we're going to um, insulate all your water PEC lines in it and we're going to put extra heat pads on your tank. One of the very nice things and features about our new build, like I say, being just like our elites and like our golds, is in our underbelly we use three forms of heat. We use heat pads on every tank, we do uh, radiant heat from the furnace, and we also have a two inch heat duct that goes into the underbelly so when it's really cold and your furnace is running, it's pushing uh, forced heat into your underbelly. That's all by standard. So that's an, uh, a really great feature. One of the other features, as I told you about our toy hauler slides, all of them have the three inch thick walls. One of the things that a lot of people don't think about is your front cap. And our front cap, most companies don't insulate their front caps. And we actually do three layers. We do a layer of astrofoil. We do a layer, uh, layer of the household insulation. And then we attach a piece of Darko, which is a vapor barrier. And that Darko will be attached on the roof. It will come down around the nose of the coach. It helps hold the insulation in place. And it also gives you a third layer of insulation. So not only do we insulate our front cap, we use three layers of insulation in our front cap. This unit has the Truma on-demand hot water. And of course we have a docking station where you can run everything from here. Lights in it, your outside shower hookup your water system, your black tank flush systems, all of your release valves are there, low point drains. Everything is right here, convenient for you to use. You can bring all your hoses and things up through here so that you can then close your um, door when you're done and have that all closed off. We also, in our pass-through storage, one of the features that I really like, you actually have a door. So whenever you uh, hook up, 
you can actually look behind the docking station and make sure that everything is secure, nothing's leaking, everything looks good. That's where your water pump is, it's where your water filter is. Easy access to get to. We try to make everything as frustration free for you as we can and easy to work with. One of the uh, last features in the, uh, that I want to tell you a little bit about is the pass-through storage. We use an actual drop frame and that's a big deal. If you go into a lot of places, what you would see when you open this door is you would see kind of a trough area right here. Uh, kind of like a wheel well that goes down in and that's because they don't use a drop frame. Our frame actually drops so we have a level loading surface all the way across and a wider loading surface all the way across so you get a lot of extra storage here um, using that type of frame. And I think the very last thing will be the door. And these are one of my favorite things. I love our cargo doors. You can see they're very sturdy. You don't see them wobble a lot. And I'm just going to let you listen to this because I love this noise. It's solid. You can tell that it's solid. It just locks into place. Um, we use some of the best products when we build our fifth wheels. So that's really it for me walking around the unit today. Um, if you have any other questions, please call us. We have a promotion going on with our existing units. This one is available. And um, if you have any questions about a build, we do a lot of tailoring. Be glad to talk to you. Give us a call.